And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Z Garcia, what is happening? Today we're looking at a game from one of Z's favorite companies, Portal Games. This is Tides of Time. It is a two-player game, and it is once again one of those games that's in the rage of micro games, because yes. I believe there is only 18 cards in the game. Uh, correct. Although they did give you a couple counters. And ooh. A score book. score. Oh, and a pencil. And the ever important pencil. But it's still pretty low price point. What did you say? It was like 12 bucks? 12 dollars, I believe it's going to be. Okay, yeah. so the question is is it worth 12 dollars? Let's see. In this game, there are 18 cards. Each of these cards is a different type, like a different suit. There's three of each suit. Each card has a certain number of victory points. There are some cards that have no suits. And so what players are going to do to start the game is they're going to shuffle these cards, and each player is going to get five cards. Then you're simply going to play in round one. You're going to look at your cards. You're going to pick one. Each player is going to reveal it at the same time and play it pass the four other cards to your opponent, and then take one of those cards, play it, and keep doing it until you have all five cards in front of you. You will then score each card. So let's take a look at these five cards which I've randomly picked here. This one here says, if you have the majority in castles, gain seven. Well, I only have one castle card. So if my opponent had zero, then I would get seven points. If he had one, I would get none because I'm not winning a tie although there is one card that says you win ties. And if he had two, well, I'd definitely lose. This one here says, for each of these purple symbols, gain three points. I have no purple symbols. This one says, for each blue symbol, gain three points. I have no blue symbols. This says, if I have the majority in suits with only one card, gain eight stars. So that's possible, because I have, well, probably not. And this says, if, you, if I score the highest with a single card, gain eight. And you can't even see that one. So let's focus out. Now you can. So those are some of the special abilities. The other special abilities, which I can show you because there's only 18 cards. This one here gives you seven points if you have the majority in the purple symbols. This one doubles the amount of your most numerous suit or suits if you're tied. This one gives you three points for each suit that you don't have. This one gives you seven if you have the majority in blues. This one gives you three for each green that you have. This gives you nine if you have a set of yellow, orange, and purple. If you have a, one of each kind, you get 13 points. Now, that can be difficult, but it's possible to pull off. A majority of yellow, seven. Each castle gives you three. Each crown gives you three. Each blue-green set gives you five. Having the most green gives you seven. And if this card's in front of you, you win all ties. So anyway, you score and you write them down. The game provides you with a score sheet that you can write your scores down on for each round. When you're done, you're going to take the five cards that you had and you're going to pick two of them at the same time as your opponent. One of these two, you're going to keep. That card is going to stay in front of you for the second and the third round. The other card, you are going to discard out of the game. Each player will then draw two more cards, adding them to their hands, and then draft again, doing the same thing and playing five cards, except this time you'll have five cards plus a, the six card in front of you. So you'll score again. Then you'll do the same thing between rounds two and three, where you'll keep one card and chuck the other card out. You'll play five more cards and then score one last time. Whoever has the most points is the winner. All right, what do you think of the game? I like this game a lot. I've uh, played it a ton of times now. Well, not a ton. I've played a good amount of games. And it keeps getting better for me, which is, I think, a surprising and, and ultimately a, a testament to how good the game is. The more I play, the more I enjoy it. The more I play with uh, the same person, the more I enjoy it. You know, the more I play with someone that already knows the cards as well. I've had a, a lot of fun with this one, so I, I, I think it's great. Now, I found that in this game, you're, it, it, there seems to be a lot of mind games in it, right? Yeah. Because as you sit there and look at each card, you're looking at the special ability, but you're also looking at the suit of that card. Right. 
you want to make sure that your opponent does not, because you're playing the cards. So if I see that Z is getting seven points for a majority of crowns and I have a crown in my hand, I have to sit there and go, is taking that crown gonna help me? Or am I just taking it to hurt him? And if I take it to hurt him, is the amount of points I'm taking away from him worth it? Worth the amount of points I could have taken otherwise. Right. Which sometimes is a big deal. If you have the 13 point card yeah. and I take away that last suit you need it, that's big. Also, when you have that 13 point card, if you play it, you know your opponent's gonna do their hardest to you make sure it, early, it doesn't happen. Yeah, 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 right. But if you don't play it early, it's going back and forth. And I, I might see that you have three suits in front of you, and I'm like, I'm not giving you this card. Right. So that's always a possibility. And I also found that playing the wrong card or, or drafting the right card at the wrong time can can really change everything. Yeah. I know at least in one game I played where I lost the game because I had my last two cards, and I sat there and said, okay. he And I knew what two cards, you know what two cards your opponent has. Right. So I'm like, okay, he's going to take that one and give me that one. So I'm going to take this one and give him this one because I needed a certain set to get a lot of points. Right. And I chose wrong, incorrectly. I did my opponent thought, thought me there was a swing of like twenty points involved yeah, there, yeah. and you know. Well, that's one thing I like about the game as well is that it's not a lot of these uh, micro games. Sometimes feel like a zero sum kind of game where oh, I won by two points. Why? I have no idea what I did, and, and I could have done better to win. In this game, the scores are not necessarily close. But it doesn't feel unbalanced. You know, it feels like... They're not close, I, but as I look at each of these, I see usually sometimes one person will win round one and the other person comes and wins round two. Right, right. But I do like the fact that you don't win by a single point and then it's all a wash anyway. If you, It seems to me if you play smarter in this game, you will win. You know what I mean? I when think I so. teach this game to someone new... You're going to beat them. I'm going to beat them. Probably that. Oh, I definitely agree on you know, that. You know, and I don't know. I just like that. I like that it's it's not a mindless game at all. It's eighteen cards, but there's a a surprising amount of game for eighteen cards. It's not a big box game. It's a tiny pack of cards, but for that much material, it feels to me like there's a lot of game there. I wonder if for me the game will fade after time because there's only eighteen sure, cards. Right. But as it is, I really do like how big and beautiful these cards are. They're really nice looking cards. They're well cards. made. They're well made. And they're nice and big, too. It feels very satisfying to be like, yeah, that's my card. Yeah. So I like it. I Not as much as you, probably. Right. But still, a cool little game. Tides of time. Dice Tower Judgment. Whoa. Into my collection. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Come on, shut the door. Yeah, well, we just... Yeah. Yeah.